Hi, Exa. Good morning. Hi, teacher. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. Working. Yeah? Already? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. I hear that um, December or the end of the year is very, like, busy for you guys? Yes. It's very busy because the holidays, uh -huh. uh, Aguinaldo, what do you say? <laughs> um, it's an extra payment, but it's like a bonus. Okay, the mm -hmm. bonus. Mm -hmm. uh, the yearly bonus, all right, okay. Uh -huh. And all that, uh, we have to support because I am a system engineer. Right, yeah. <clears throat> so okay. we have to... to Support to Ili, for example. Oh my goodness, Ili! <laughs> yes. Right. Uh, okay. uh, yesterday we were we were working in some special. Okay. For Accenture. Okay. Riley. Right, <laughs> oh my goodness! It's, yeah. It's a company yes. of Costa Rica, so. Okay. So, so, so you guys see, like, you have like many clients, like many businesses that you work for. I mean, yes. Okay. All right. Yes, uh, we have. Well, it depends of the country. Right. Yeah. Okay. For example, in Costa Rica, I think that is seventeen or eighteen clients, different clients. Wow! Really. Yes, I don't know the exact number, but... Right, okay. But you have a lot. <laughs> yes. But you also have clients from El Salvador. Like Salvadorian yes. clients. All right. Yes, uh, all Central America. All right. Okay. Okay. And the, is this the only office that there is in Central America? Is it like the base or the headquarters are here? Or do no. you have like... Okay. No, the base is in Mexico. Mexico. Oh, all right. Have you ever been to Mexico, Exa, because of your job? No. No. Okay. Right. What no about yet. Ili? <laughs> Not yet. Good, good. That's nice. <laughs> what about Ili? Have you gone to like uh, Mexico for the job? No, no. I never. All right. Been. Okay. All right. Well, maybe, maybe one day you guys will. <laughs> maybe one. That's interesting. Maybe for for. On vacations. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. All right. Very good. Now, how do you like your job? Do you do you like it? Is it very stressful? Is it okay? How is it? Or Ili or Exa? Mm -hmm. I like, but but is but is it is uh, it's hard. All right. Yeah. Yes, but it, de it depends on the date. Okay, ah, also, all right. Mm -hmm. So for like, let's say like every end of the month, it's tougher than other times in the month or what does it depend on? Every in my case, again, the, in my Later, case, again, yes. the, the month. At the beginning of the month. Mm -hmm. okay. Hmm. You know, you know, what a, one of the things I like about teaching adults is that you get to know many people from many different um, companies, right? And they have so many different jobs, you know, that you would never think of. <laughs> All right. Sometimes we, we don't know who is behind everything. So it's interesting. It's really interesting. Yeah. Nice. You know, uh, with teacher Edis. We used to, like before, like three years ago or a year ago, we used to go to uh, teach to this factory, right? And they would make clothing. So it was really interesting to see all the process and, and to know about what everybody or which, like every person did and everything. So sometimes you just don't imagine what's behind what you wear, for example. All right. So it's like, it's interesting. It's really nice. All right, very good. Okay, so good morning, Gabby, Gabby, Brenda, and Sinia. Hi, girls. Good morning. How are you today? Good morning. Morning. How's everybody this morning? Sinia, how are you today? Thank you for joining class. 
All right, let's see. Um, okay, guys, so today we're not gonna be talking um, about the topic that we have been talking about, all right? Uh, I'm gonna start talking about a new topic today, which I'm gonna, again, um, teach it on Monday, all right? Because it's not enough time to understand everything, all right? It may be not complicated, but kind of like confusing at first, all right? So uh, I'm gonna introduce the topic today, and then we can, uh, we're gonna do some practices today, and then Monday, again, some more practice, so we are like um, a little bit more like secure about what we're talking about here. All right, so if you, um, if you look at the uh, platform, we're supposed to talk about adjectives as participles, okay? So that's the topic that we're gonna be um, actually going over today. Um, I'm gonna wait a little longer to see if, uh, or to give you time to finish or go over the exercises we didn't finish yesterday, okay? Because I wanna check that, you know, the cause and the consequence and all that. So you guys feel like, okay, with the exercises and you know the answers. So maybe like about 7.15, we're gonna finish today's class reviewing yesterday's exercise, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. But right now, I'm gonna begin the new topic, okay? So as I said, we're gonna talk about adjectives as participles. Do you remember yesterday I told you when we were making the structure, I said verb plus ing is what? Do you remember? What is the, how do you call those? It's you guys who are paying attention. Uh huh. How do you call verb plus ing? Present what? Present participle. Excellent, excellent. Yes, a, a present participles. Okay. So in English, we have past participles and we have present participles. Okay. Now, here today, we're going to be talking about participles in present and past as adjectives, not as verbs. Okay, so there's a difference between those two. If you already watch the platform, they tell you that there are two uses, there are two usages of these um, participles, as verbs and as adjectives. We're not gonna study them as verbs today. We're gonna study them as adjectives today, all right? These adjectives as part like participles and like adjectives, they help you describe feelings or they help you describe how something made you feel, which is different, okay? I'm gonna show you the, the first example that is very commonly mistaken, all right? And this is what I wanna, I'm just gonna show it to you quickly, and then we're gonna talk about it, because it, many people make mistakes when they say this. Can you see this? Can you guys see? It says, number one, it says, my English teacher, that's me. <laughs> my English teacher is boring and my or my English teacher is bored. Very different. The two sentences, the meaning is very, very different. Okay. Usually people do this. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna remember about this one. I'm just gonna give you another example here, which is even worse than that one. All right. Sometimes we say this. I'm just gonna put it here. Just give me a second here. I just wanna write the sentence so you guys see what I'm talking about. Sometimes we say, uh, I'll share it, hold on. Sometimes you say, for example, I say, hey, um, Ely, I can say, I, can you guys see? I'm gonna type right now. Can you see that I'm typing? Yeah, okay. Yes. Yes. Who are you today? All right, this is like a normal question. And Ely says, uh, teacher, I am boring. And I'm thinking, really? All right. Is that an okay sentence to say? La voy a ser más grande porque ni yo la veo. All right. Is that a nice sentence to say? Is it an okay sentence? I say, how are you today? You say, I'm boring. Do you understand? Is it okay to say I'm boring? Or is it better to say I am bored? What do you think? What do you guys think? Tell me. Yeah. I think it's I'm boring. You think it's number one? Number one. All right, Exa, if I ask you how are you today, would you say I'm boring or I'm bored? I am boring, but 
is the usually that I hear. But right, I don't know. yes. <laughs> Very good. All right, let's see. Senia, what would you say? I am boring or I am bored? Gabi, Brenda, Maria Araceli, good morning. Sofia, if I ask you how are you today, would you girls respond, I am boring or I am bored? I am boring. I am boring. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. All right. Very good. I am boring. Excellent. Everybody says I'm boring. Yes? I'm sorry, but it's a mistake. <laughs> All right. As Exa said, everybody says that. Okay. But that is not correct. You have to say, I am bored. All right. The difference is, and I'm going to say this uh, in Spanish just so you see the difference. Soy aburrida o estoy aburrida? Number one, if you say, how are you today? And you say, I am boring. For me, that means not for me, but for me, you are a boring person. I don't want to be with you because te me va a aburrir. Porque usted es una persona aburrida. Eso es lo que está diciendo con esta, I'm boring. All right? Entonces yo le digo, ay, pues no quiero estar con usted, esa salud. All right? Because I want to, you know, I want to be happy today. All right? But if you say, I am bored, usted dice, estoy aburrido, o estoy aburrida, no soy aburrida. In Spanish, it's very, the, the, the meaning is very clear, all right? So, from now on, when you say, how are you today? A menos que usted se considere una persona aburrida, diga, I'm boring, I'm a boring person, pero nadie se le va a querer juntar, all right, yes? So you have to say, I am bored today, teacher. Why? Ah, because I was working and blah, blah, blah. Now I don't know what to do. Ah, that's very different. Okay? Do you understand the difference now, guys? Yes? No, well, yes. Yes. I, I am bored. <laughs> <laughs> All right? And I, as I told you, this mistake is very common. Everybody says I'm boring. All right? No, you can't say I'm boring. You have to say I'm bored. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to this one, to the first example about the teacher. My English teacher is boring or my English teacher is bored, okay? Can you see the, 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 the teacher, right? Yeah, I mean, the, the slide with the teacher, not me. The, the, can you see the presentation? Yes? <laughs> All right, very good. Yeah, so, yeah. Thank you. If I say my English teacher is boring, is my teacher interesting or not? No. No, she's not interesting. All right. So I'm like thinking, oh my goodness. All right. She's boring. <laughs> All right. No tienen esa carita ustedes. All right. Or I say, my English teacher is bored. Me, Jessica, I feel bored. I am not bored. I feel bored. That's the difference. Here is I am. And this one is I feel. Okay, that's a very, that's like different. Here, my English teacher is like that. Okay, and in this one, my English teacher feels like that. Very different things. Okay, do you guys understand so far? Yeah, okay, so these guys, boring, bored, those are adjectives in participles. Okay, so this is what I wanted to show you here. And this is what we're talking about. You're probably wondering why is Jessica talking about, you know, English teachers here. Um, I'm talking about these little words, the word boring or the, and the word bored, all right? They are adjectives. If you see them, we know they're adjectives. Except, uh, tell me one adjective, any other adjective, like normal adjectives. I want everybody thinking about one adjective. Uh, Haili, one adjective. Exa, one adjective. Gabi. Interesting. Interesting. All right, another one. Happy. 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 Very good. Another. Yeah. Very good. We're happy. Yeah. Another one. It's Friday. Yeah. Another one. Tired. Tired. Very good. Another one. Angry. Sad. Angry. Sad. Yes. Another one. When you see it. Intelligent. Friendly. Intelligent. Yes. Beautiful. Ugly. Short. Fat. Thin. Um. Stupid. Those are adjectives. Okay. But we also have these adjectives that they don't look like adjectives, but they are adjectives, okay? And they are different. For example, you have, she is beautiful. Beautiful, you cannot say she's beautifuling. You cannot say she's beautiful, 
all right? You just say she's beautiful. That's an adjective. Happy. I can say I'm happy. All right? No, you, I don't say happy or happy. All right? You can't do that. But we have these type of adjectives that are adjectives in like um, participles that you can use, but they are going to finish with ing or with ed. All right? The ing are the present participles. And the ed ending adjectives are the past participles. Okay? Yes, so far so good. We are understanding so so. Yeah. Don't worry. On Monday we will study this again, okay? Because it's not difficult, but it's a little bit extense. Okay, so I want to today I'm introducing the topic, and on Monday we will review it again. Okay. So I'm gonna show you the main um the main uh, PowerPoint presentation. Well, I'm gonna send it to you after class anyway. All right, so you guys can see it here. I'm gonna show you this one right here, guys. Participle adjectives, okay? Remember, participles can be as verbs and as adjectives. Today, we're studying them as adjectives, okay? Here we have, Here we have present participle adjectives and past participle adjectives, okay? Now, participle adjectives, these are adjectives that come from verbs. That's why sometimes we confuse them, all right? Because they derive from verbs. They come from, they were born as verbs, but they have made them into adjectives, okay? Now, these adjectives now, some of them are going to finish in ed and some of them are going to finish in ing all right so for example here i'll just you know what just give me one second i'm going to fix something here because you cannot see it hold on oh it's fine okay i'm going to fix that but it's already fixed anyway uh so here we go so here we have verb, for example, listen and pay attention to this sentence right here. I'm just gonna make it bigger for you. It says, verb, the magician amazed the audience with his tricks. Do you understand amazed? This is acting not as an adjective, this is acting as a normal verb, all right? Amazed, do you know what amazed is? Grandioso. But as an adjective, what about as a verb? <laughs> How it is impresionó. it? Impresionó. Ah, el mago impresionó, all right, the magician amazed the audience, okay? This is a verb, okay? Now we have the magician is amazing. Ahí sí va la traducción que me acaban de dar. The magician is amazing. Present participle adjective. How do I know that it's present participle adjective? Because it finishes in ing, all right? Amazing, I say, if I, for example, you guys say, oh, this is amazing, that's an adjective, all right? It's beautiful, it's nice, it's super, it's amazing, all right? That is an adjective. Now we have, in, in, in a present participle, now we have the audience felt amazed when the magician disappeared. This is an, again an adjective, but it's the past participle adjective. What I wanted to show you is that this amazing, amazed, they come from the verb amaze. Yes, I amaze you, you amaze me, he amazes me, she amazes you. All right, you can conjugate this one. All right, because it's a verb. Now, remember that, uh, um, adjectives as participles or uh, participles as adjectives better said they usually come from verbs okay now if you notice the position here is different than this one okay and you have a direct verb right after the subject you have subject verb and then the complement all right here amazing is at the end and is followed by the verb be now here it's in the middle but before this one you have a verb sometimes people will say jessica you have two verbs in the sentence no i only have one which one is the verb in this sentence 
When felt. felt. Felt, very good. Felt is the only verb. Amazed is an adjective, all right? It looks like this one, yeah, sure, it does, but it's not a verb. In this case, yes, in this case, no, okay? Yes? Okay. All right, very good. Remember, if you have questions, please ask me, okay? I want you to ask me questions. Look at this. The past participle adjectives is used to talk about how someone feels, okay? So you're asking me, okay, Jessica, so what is the difference between past participle adjectives and present participle adjectives? And here's the answer, okay? The past participle adjectives is used to talk about how someone feels. I feel bored. It's not true. It's only an example. I feel bored. How do I feel bored? All right. Ah, look at the look at this kid. How does this kid feel right now? How do you think it feels? How do you think this kid feels right now? Is he sad? Is he excited? Excited. Very good. Good example. Happy. Very good. Exc uh -huh. Very good. He's happy. If we take the adjective excited, okay, you need to remember, how do you feel? I feel excited, okay? What makes you feel excited? Ah, the movie was exciting, so I felt excited, all right? So here, the ed ending um, adjectives is how you feel. The ing endings is the cause of how you feel, all right? So one is the cause and the other one is the feeling. Okay, I don't know if you're following me here. I'm will, I will continue, but then you can ask me questions. Please ask me questions. Look at this book. Yeah. Yes, ask me, yeah. Uh, can be all the verbs, all the adjectives used uh -huh. like a verb? Not all of them, but many of them. Okay. All right, very good. When we finish this presentation, uh, at the end of it, I will send this presentation to you anyway today. When we finish it, you're gonna see a list. I have included a list of adjectives as participles that you can that are very commonly used, all right? You will notice that some of them can be verbs, but not all of them, okay? All right, very good question. Okay, so look, how does the, how does the boy feel? What does he say here? He feels how? Scary. Okay, yeah, the boy, this boy right here, he feels depressed. You don't say he's depressing, all right? Unless he's the cause of you to feel depressed, okay? There are some people that you say, no, I don't wanna talk to, um, I don't wanna talk to Jessica because she's depressing. That means that she's gonna make me feel depressed. She's the cause why I feel depressed because she is like that, all right? But I will feel depressed if I talk to her. The feeling and the cause. The cause is the ing. The feeling is the ed, okay? Excited, scared, bored, depressed. How do you think these people on the roller coaster feel? Excited Ex or scared. Is I excited or scared? Very good, all right, that's how they feel. Let's see, um, Maria Araceli, good morning, Maria Araceli. I don't know if you can, um, Maria Araceli, are you there? Or maybe she's busy, all right, that's okay. Uh, let's see, someone else, um, Carlita, Carla Beatriz, are you there, Carlita? Yes. All right, very good, sure. Carla. If you were on a ride, of a ro on a roller coaster ride, how would you feel? Excited, scared, bored, depressed? Mm, <laughs> maybe I feel uh, scared. <laughs> yeah, me too. All right, I wouldn't go. All right, uh, scared. All right, that is the feeling Carla would feel. She would feel scared. All right, because the roller coaster is uh, scaring. You understand the difference between those two? One is the cause and the other one is the feeling, okay? Yes. All right, let's continue here. The present participle, we were talking about the past participles here, all right? The present participle adjective is used to talk about the thing, the person, the situation, that causes the feeling, all right? So that's what I'm, I was telling you here, guys. The ing, all right, for example, boring, exciting, exhausting, all right? 
um, interesting, all right, that is the cause of the feeling, all right? Now, here we can say the teacher is boring, so the students feel bored. She is the cause. Look at the student there. He's sleeping. He's thinking about math. He's listening to music. He's just not doing anything. And the teacher, blah, 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 right? The teacher, the class is boring. So the students feel, how do they feel? Bored. 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 Excellent. Bored. They feel bored. Very good. Okay. So here we say these kids right here are bored because their class or the teacher is boring. All right. Boring is the cause of the feeling. Yeah. You follow me? Okay. Very good. I hope so. Very good. And let's see this one. Can someone read this for me? And do the exercise here. What would you like fill in? If roller coasters make you feel thrilling, then uh, or exciting, exciting, then they are uh, exciting, okay. excited, excited. Okay, okay, Let, thank you. Let's see, let's talk about this one here. If the roller coaster make you feel, if I, I'm talking about feeling, I'm going to use ED or am I going to use ING? ED. All right. Sorry. So, <laughs> no, that's okay. No, that's fine. If roller coasters, if, if roller coasters, I can't speak today. If roller coasters make you feel, let's take this one, but with ED, Carlita. Excited. Excellent. If roller coasters make you feel excited, then they are what? Exciting. Excellent. All right. Nice. You see the difference. This is the feeling. This is the cause. All right. Let's see. Let's go on here. All right. Some adjectives don't have both forms. Most of them, most of these um, participle adjectives, they have both forms, the ED and the ING, but there are some of them that they don't. Okay. But there are not so many. All right. So a scared, for example, does not have an ing adjective form. Adjective form, all right? Look at number one. It says, I watched a scary movie, all right? It's an adjective describing a thing or a person, okay? Now, I felt scared while I watched the movie, okay? So these, these both of them are adjectives, it's scary and scared. But this one, you don't say, I watch a scary movie. You say, I watch a scary movie, all right? And then this one, so the, what I'm telling you here is that, for example, scared does not take an, an ing adjective form, only an ed adjective form, all right? And then this one, the monster was scary, all right? It's the same as number one, but what I'm trying to show you here is that scary, you cannot use it with ing. Okay, now here we have, I watched an interesting movie. All right, so the movie was interesting. It was a good movie, it was an interesting movie. Okay, so this adjective, yes, I can use it with ing. I felt interested while I watched the movie. That is the feeling here, all right? So, I so you notice here we can have the ing ending of the adjective and here we have the ed ending of the adjective. And this one also, the characters were interesting, all right? Again, we can use the ing form of these adjectives. There are only a few that you cannot do both, only one, all right? So these are like exceptions. Remember that in English, there are many, many exceptions all the time. I think that's what makes it difficult sometimes because we learn it one way, but then someone says, oh, but there's an exception, all right? So this is one, okay? Let's continue here. He scared me, all right? Look at that one. He scared me is a simple past um, sentence. He is scaring me, all right, right now. So you can say, so Jessica, but you said you cannot use it with ing as an adjective, but you can use it as a verb, all right? Usted me está asustando, you're scaring me, right? And this one, I'm scared, no miedo, 
All right, yeah, so you can say this. So you have to be careful when are they acting as verbs, when, when are they acting as adjectives in past or present participle, okay? Here, the clown surprised them, simple past sentence. Sometimes we confuse these ones with adjectives because you, you have ed ending, but if you look at the sentence, subject, verb, complement, that's a normal sentence. And this is acting as a verb, all right? The clown is surprising them again. So you know it's a present progressive or present continuous tense. They are surprised, all right? That's an adjective. How do they feel? Surprised, all right? Or here we say clowns are often surprising. It's an adjective in present participle because you have the ing. So this is the cause and this is the feeling, okay? So remember, and this, you know what? If you wanna keep on learning English and one day you wanna take TOEFL test, these are very tricky TOEFL type of questions, all right? Because sometimes you're thinking, oh no, is this a verb, is this an adjective, is it past participle, is it present participle, what is it in, right? So you need to know this. You need to tell the difference between it's whether it be, it's, um, if it's acting as a verb, is it acting as an adjective, is present, in past, what? All right, so these are like very, very tricky, okay? It's not so easy, but if you study it, then it's okay. I will continue here, all right? I don't know if you have questions so far. Is your hamster working? <laughs> Is everybody hamsters working? Yeah? Yes. Very, very. I love it. It's very. <laughs> it's running, right? It's very. It's exciting. Oh my goodness, yeah. Right, right. now. <laughs> All right, so your, your hamster feels exciting. <laughs> Excited. All right, very good. Yeah, and, oh no. All right, very good. Okay, let's try to do this one right now, guys, okay? speaking time let's see how we how we feel about this don't worry if you haven't really understood much on monday we will study this again okay no se preocupe we're gonna see it again on monday and tuesday if it's necessary okay here let me see uh i will ask Amy. all right Amy. listen and look at question number one what is the most exciting place you have ever been the most exciting place uh, I don't know how, uh, how is the, the answer uh -huh. next to the most exciting place is is a uh, at the place the most exciting you can say it this way uh, Ailey, you can say the most exciting place i've ever been to i ever been i right? have, i ever I've, I've ever been to i have I've ever, been, mm -hmm. ever uh -huh. been to is mm, paris oh cool nice very good <laughs> <laughs> all right very good how did Sorry. you feel that's okay how did you feel claudita on that exciting place I'm excited. I feel okay. I felt excited. I felt excited. Yeah, very good. Yes. Or you were excited. All right. Very nice. Excellent. Let's see. Gabby. Gabby, are you there? Yes. Excellent. Gabby, what is the most thrilling movie you have ever seen? What is thrilling, teacher? Ah, that's a good question. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what is thrilling, guys? Can you help me what thrilling is? What someone knows what thrilling is? Like it's scary. scary. Yeah. And suspense. suspense. Yeah, suspense. all right. All right, yeah, like like between exciting and thrilling, like you're, like intriguing, like it's thrilling for you, like you're thinking, oh my goodness, what's going to happen? All right. Okay. Uh, the most thrilling movie I have I have ever seen huh? is a I don't remember the name is submarine I don't remember okay submarine that's fine let's say it is okay <laughs> and how did you feel when you watched the movie I feel 
thrill. Oh, Excellent. I... Yes. Uh -huh. You feel or you felt thrilled, all right? So thrilling is like another synonym of, of exciting, all right? Very good. Okay. Yeah, very good. Maria Araceli, are you there, Maria Araceli? Thank you, Gabby. Yes, I am. Excellent, thank you. Uh, number three, what is something that makes you feel depressed? Oh, no. <laughs> Don't ask me that question, all right? <laughs> um... I don't know. Yes. Um, maybe I have I ever been a, a, a pandemia? Okay, all right, okay. So the, this COVID situation have made you feel depressed? Yes. Okay, very good, interesting, all right. Yeah, you can say the COVID-19 or the coronavirus is depressing, all right? And how do you feel about it? Depressed, I can't go out, I cannot have my normal life, I cannot visit people, I shouldn't visit people, all right, but I do, and you should, all right, very good. So yeah, it's depressing and that makes you feel depressed. Very good, thank you. Let's see, uh, next one, Sophia. Sophia, are you there? Yes. Thank you. All right, Sophia, name someone in your family that makes, oh no, <laughs> that makes you feel annoyed. They're not listening to you, Sophia, okay? <laughs> so you can be honest. <laughs> Maybe my cousins make me feel annoyed. <laughs> All right, very good. Your cousins make you feel annoyed. Very good. Nice. Okay. Annoyed. Yeah, very, yes, very good. Why? Because they are annoying. All right, they are the cause and they make you feel annoyed, yeah? Yes. Excellent, very good. Carla, Beatriz, are you there, Carlita? Maybe not. Exa, next up for you, Exa. What career, for number five, do you think is demanding? Mm, I think that business career is mm -hmm. demanding. It's demanding. All right. So when that happens, you feel demanded. All right. Because you feel like a lot of pressure, right? You feel pressured when you have something that is very demanding sometimes. Okay. Very good. Franklin, good morning, Franklin. Hi, good morning. <laughs> Franklin, number six for you. If you were homesick, do you understand homesick? Uh, what what is homesick? Like sad because of the uh, guys. Give me one second, please. Give me give me one quick second. I gotta make one second, please. I'm sorry, guys, I'm here. Okay, let's see. Um, I was with Franklin, right? <laughs> yes. oh, okay, yeah, Franklin, I was explaining to you. Homesick is when you feel sad or when you miss your family, your friends. For example, if you go to another country or if you were born in San Miguel and then you move to San Salvador and you kind of feel like you, you feel homesick, you feel sad, uh, you miss your family and friends. Oh, okay. Um, so if you were um, homesick, what would what would make you feel comforted? Like, you know, people say, it's okay, Franklin, don't worry about in my, it. <laughs> <laughs> in my case, um, uh, the television. Okay. Um, see? All right, very good. That would make you feel comforted. Oh, very good. Let's see. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Franklin. Let's see. Um, Brenda. I'm here. <laughs> Carlita. Yes, teacher. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I have to, to do something here. Yeah. So. Okay, no, Sorry. that's okay. No, I understand. Okay, but can you do it right now? Yes. Okay, very good. Okay, so let's see here what we have. It says, what would be the most confusing thing about your language for someone to learn? Think about Spanish. If someone is trying to learn Spanish, what do you think would be the most confusing thing about Spanish for someone to learn? 
Um, <laughs> <laughs> Everything. <laughs> well, <laughs> Spanish, no, or Castellano is the, <laughs> yeah. the very confused. Yeah. Um, well, I think that uh, I feel confused uh, with um, San Miguel's, uh, I don't know, terminos de, que usan en San Miguel. Uh, okay. Like, go ahead, go ahead. There are a lot of things that that uh, some friends uh, said something and I don't know, it's, it's <laughs> difficult <laughs> sometimes because uh, um, they Lexico. speak, uh, mm -hmm. yes, very fast and and I don't know, teacher. All right, okay. I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> all right, very good, nice, I'm all confused right. with this. <laughs> yes. This question, all right, this question is confusing, right? I get it, very good, let's see. That's okay, but, uh, Carlita, let's see. Uh, who else do I have here? Who haven't I asked? Juan Carlos, good morning, Juan Carlos. Blanca, are you there? Pero, who's there? <laughs> Yes, I am. Blanca, very good. Okay, Hi. Blanquita, thank you. Why is something that you think is relaxing? Uh, well, um, going to the woods. Oh, very good. Going to the woods. Nice. It's relaxing. I like that. So when you go to the woods, Blanca, how do you feel? I'm sorry? When you go to the woods, how do you feel? Would you feel um, like um um, uh, re, um you would feel ex uh, relaxed? Relaxed and I um, uh, mm -hmm. uh, in past <laughs> at ease. All right, yeah, <laughs> very good. Yeah, you feel at ease. Very good. All right, let's see. Um, what do you do to feel energized? Vero, can you speak Vero? Someone sent me a chat and I couldn't see. Yes, teacher. All right. Okay, well, Juan Carlos, it's okay. All right, so, um, Verito, now, next one, number nine. How do you feel? What do you do, sorry, what do you, what do you do to feel energized? Maybe I'm, I'm running. Oh, running. Yes. Cool. Me too, Vero. Thank you. <laughs> Very good. I love running. Very good. Okay. Yes. That, that makes you feel in, like energized. Very good. Nice. Thank you. Carla, Joanna. Carlita, are you able to speak right now, Carla? Maybe not. Senia. Vania. Gabby. <laughs> Hello, ah, Vania, Hello. very good. Hi, hi, hi. All right, Vania, let's see. Uh, then Gabi, let's see. Um, what is something, uh, Vania, that would be challenging to do for you? What would be challenging for you? <laughs> okay. Thank I don't you, know, teacher. I don't understand the question. So okay. No, that's fine. All right. Something challenging is something that you say, oh, this is going to be very difficult, but I want to do it anyway. All right. It's like a teacher, challenge. Yes. Teacher, maybe for me is, um, I will be the client, the Volcan of Santana. Oh, all right. Okay. Very good. Sure. Very nice. Or maybe, oh. or maybe work homework. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. Or very maybe good. Yeah. Stop eating. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I wouldn't do that. All right. Very good. Number eleven. Some books or movies, like P.S. I Love You, are very touching. What books or movie have you read that you think is touching? You understand the expression? This movie is very touching. Do you know what that no. means? Ah. No. Okay. Okay, when you uh, say for, yes, Carlita. 
no, no, I, I don't understand this. All right, yeah, okay. This when you part. say, for okay, when you say, for example, oh, this movie was so touching, it's like it made you feel maybe sad, you cried, it was very, very strong. Have you watched the movie La Vida es Bella? Yes, teacher. Okay, so you can say, I mean, for me, the movie is very touching, all right, because you know, it's it's talking about something that happened in real life. I mean, the, not the movie, but the event about the kid losing his father, his father trying to rescue or, or, or to have his kid on a safe place and everything. It's very touching. It's like conmovedora. All right? Yes, I love you. It's very, very touching. Really? I've never seen yes. that. Oh, yes. I like me. Oh, my goodness. I love this. Movie, really yes. oh no yes. i have to watch it i never watched it <laughs> it's beautiful movie, is it yes. oh my goodness that's my homework for this weekend all right <laughs> okay very good cool p.s i love you i will remember okay very good <laughs> and then we have number 12 when was the last time you felt disappointed anybody aha uh -huh, guys when was the last time you felt very disappointed and then you feel like wow well, this is not worth doing i don't want to do this anymore or this situation is so depressing so when was the last time you felt disappointed anybody nobody has felt disappointed that's cool <laughs> that's nice excess thinking i can see excess thinking all right. No? All right, that's fine. Ely, have you ever felt disappointed by anything? Sometimes I feel disappointed about the people. Yeah, okay, okay. Very good. Anybody else? I felt disappointed. Disappointed? Disappointed. Uh huh. Uh huh. Disappointed with my my dogs. <laughs> Why? I know. Why? <laughs> they bark too much. Yes. All right. Okay. Anybody else? When the payroll, um, uh, for example, I. Uh -huh. Um. Um, I mean, you put a lot of effort into something? Yes. Okay. And the, and the payroll, it's uh, bad. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, my, my gift, um, la revisa. The check, they check, uh-huh. Okay. Uh, my gift, check the payroll. And uh -huh. Um, I I carry the email. Mm -hmm. Then uh, told me uh, it's bad. Oh no! And me, oh my god! Right? Bad. Yeah, you feel disappointed. Yes. All right. Okay. Yeah, that, I I can believe that. All right. Very good. Very good. Disappointed. All right, guys. Um, I don't know if. Uh, hold on. I just want to see something here. Either that we finish this right now, or I mean, we'll continue with this on Monday anyway. <clears throat> yeah, you know what? As I said at the very beginning, I'm going to stop with this topic right now. Oops, what am I doing? I'm going to stop with this topic right now, guys, just for us to get ready on Monday to keep on talking about this one. And I want to finish checking what we did yesterday, all right? Do we, but before we do that, do you have any questions so far about what we just saw today? We're going to see it again Monday. Don't worry about it. We can see it again Monday and we're going to talk more about it. We're going to do actually some exercises Monday. Right now we haven't done exercises. You were just listening to me. All right. Do you have any questions? No? Everything's clear? Like water or like horchata? <laughs> <laughs> Like, oh no, Elsa! <laughs> I'm not. I'm gonna feel depressed. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. So no questions right now. 
Okay, very no. good. No, okay. teacher. All right, very good. On Monday, we're going to do it again. We're going to study these again, all right? We're going to practice some more. We're going to have some exercises and everything so you guys feel like even better with the topic, okay? So right now, what I'm going to do is uh, for the last 10 minutes that we have in class or for class here, uh, we were talking about, can you remind me? Hold on, I'm just going to, yeah, here. I just found it, forget it. I have it. Yeah, this is what we were talking about yesterday. I just found it. <clears throat> this is one right here. Okay, this is the one, right? So we finished, we finished, uh, did we check all of these ones? Did we do them together yesterday? Were we able to finish the who, the what, the where, the questions, or we didn't? Mm, yes. <clears throat> we checked all of them? No, no, we don't. We didn't check. We didn't check, right? Okay, so no. uh, in case, thank you. Yes, I get it. Um, in case you have it, can you take it? Like, can you can you have it there so we can um, do it together? I, I remember I did number one and number two. Ely, do you have number three? The boys have been playing tennis all afternoon. Um. Sorry, I have a That's okay, that's okay. What have the boys saw, what have the boys been playing all afternoon? Thank you, very good, nice. All right, what have the boys been playing all afternoon? Um, I don't know, Exa, do you have number four about Annie has been waiting in the coffee shop for Robbie? I have it. Where okay. has been Amy waiting for Robbie? Excellent. Yes, very nice. She has been waiting for him in the coffee shop. Very nice. Who has number five that wants to do it? Teacher, number five. Yes, okay. Why has she been cooking all day? Uh -huh. Yeah, she's been cooking all day because she's having a big party tonight. Very nice. Number six, anybody that wants to do number six? Number six. Yes, yeah. has Why she has been... <laughs> <laughs> Everybody wants to Everybody, participate. Yeah, okay, like go, ahead, nice. go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> oh, not now, nobody. All right, no, one, one. One. <laughs> Go ahead, me? Frank. Ah, uh, for me. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, why uh, has he been walking to work all week? Excellent. Because he wants to get some exercise. Very nice. Cool. Nice, thank you. This one, tell me why, all right? My eyes are very red. I'm sorry, my eyes. Mary's eyes are very red. Uh, she's been crying all night, poor thing. Number two, the streets are wet. What would be the, the, um, the why, the reason, the cause? The streets are wet uh -huh. because it's been raining for hours. Excellent, very good. Just like a couple of weeks ago. Number three, the children yes. aren't hungry now. Because they have been eating cookies all, all day. day. Oh my goodness, yes, that, that's what my children do. All right, very good. Uh, next <laughs> one. <laughs> all right, and when it's time for lunch, they're not hungry anymore. All right, very good. Number four, he is out of breath. He's like, he cannot breathe, right? He's out of breath. Why? What happened? Because he's because been he's... running for an hour? Yes, because he's been out running for an hour, right? Nice. Carol's pants are dirty, uh-huh. He's because been working. She's been working. She's been working where? In the garden. Yes. In the garden, yes, very nice, thank you. All right, both boys have black eyes. They be been fighting. Oh my goodness, so it's like, like this, right? Hmm. <laughs> All right, nice, very good. Uh, the teacher's sweater is covered in chalk. She's, She's been, been learning, learning on the blackboard. blackboard. She's been learning, uh-huh, on the blackboard, very good. I remember when I started teaching guys, I still used the, the blackboard and the green board with chalk and I was allergic to it. <laughs> It was very difficult because I couldn't stop sneezing. I would go chi ha chi ha chi all during class. It was amazing. Oh my goodness. I started teaching when I was 20. 
All right. So I was very young and I was, th- I was sneezing in front of my students. It was so embarrassing. <laughs> all right. Very good. I still remember that. Andrew coughs all the time. Uh-huh. He's been smoking for years. Uh-huh. All right. I hope that's not the case for any of you. Very good. Uh, Lily's, uh, Lily's feet are sore. He's, He's been dancing, dancing for hours. Yes. Do you understand the word sore? Yeah, right? Like in pain? Le duelen, yeah, le arden. Uh-huh. All right, very good. Uh, number 10, Donna feels great. He's been no, excited all morning. She's been excited, yeah, exercising. exercising. She's, <laughs> she's been exercising all month. We're talking about the excited, right? And we're like, because of the other topic. Very nice. Okay. Piano lessons. Has she since taken a bin was a child? She. Oh my goodness. That sounds like another language. Okay. Can you make it properly? She has been taking piano lessons since she was a child. Very good. She's been taking piano lessons since she was a child. Very nice. Number two, fishing since they that come have sun been up. They have been fishing since the sun came up. Excellent. All right. Very nice. Number three, who wants to do number three for me? Hi. Okay, go ahead, Franklin. He has been arguing with, with his father for an hour. Oh my goodness, all right. He has been uh, arguing with his father for an hour, arguing, very nice, thank you. That's another common mistake I just remember. You know how the boring on board situation? A lot of people, we, uh, a lot of people when they are learning English, they say, I, uh, I am agree, instead of saying, I agree. All right, I am agree, that's in Spanish. All right, estoy de acuerdo, but in English is I agree. So please don't say I am agree, all right? <laughs> you say I agree. Okay, just like boring on board. Very good, thank you, Frankie. Uh, next one, thank number you. four. Who wants to do four for me? We have been leaving. Uh, Araceli. Okay. <clears throat> We have been living in the same neighborhood since we were children. Since we, we were, were children. children. Yes. Excellent. Yes, since we were children. Nice. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Uh, number five, Alex, since has been blah, blah, blah. What's number five? Alex has been sleeping home since he came from his business trip. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right. Okay. Next one. Number six. Someone else to do it for me? Maybe Brenda, Gabby, Sophie, if you if you if you girls are able to, because students so have been doing this exercise since they come to the class. Since they came to class, all right. Since they came to class, very good. Thank you. And the last one. <clears throat> Peter has been watching television since the hockey game began. Excellent. All right. Since the hockey game uh, began, very good. All right. Nice. That was the last one. Oh, we had this one, right? This one is pretty straightforward, guys. Uh, I, I what for number one? Anybody? Someone to do number one for me? I haven't been doing the homework yet. The housework yet, all right, very good. Number two, let's just do one, two, and three so we take attendance and you guys may leave. Number two. <clears throat> they have been studying very hard recently. Recently, very good, yes, recently. recently. Yes, very nice. And number three. She has been promised. Promising, uh, promising? Promising to have many times very good all right thank you all right guys i'm going to take attendance right now carla beatriz aguilar present veronica beatriz celso present teacher osmani saúl de leon present Vania itzel deras de cañas i'm here blanca estela marroquín present 
Franklin de Jesús Martínez. Present. Thank you. Carla Joana Martínez. Present. Giovanni Alberto Orantes Flores. Giovanni was not here today, right? All right, very good. Uh, Gabriela Beatriz Reyes Ramírez. Present. Dalila Estela Silva Morán. María Araceli González Flores. Present. Thank you. Cindy Elizabeth Mejía. Present. All right. Sofía Guadalupe Hernández. Present. Juan Carlos Molina Martínez. All right, thank you, Juan Carlos. Eh, Claudia Iliana Casun. Present. Eh, Brenda Lucía Rosales eh, Guzmán. Brendita was not in class today. Yeah, she's here. Oh, yeah, Brenda, I saw you. Thank you. Uh, Karen Lizette Reyes. All right, and Francisco Isaac Cabrera Mestizo. All right, okay, guys, so it's time to go. Please, please, please work on the platform. Uh, keep on advancing on it. If you have any questions, let me know, okay? So I'll see you guys on Monday. Have a great weekend. Study, all right? And then on Monday, we'll keep on talking about the past and present participle adjectives, okay? Thank you guys for joining yeah. me this morning. Bye, have a great day. Bye, Bye teacher. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye now. Hi, good day. Have you too, thank you. Bye.